Hi, welcome back to Linux. Today we're going to look at file and directory operations. We won't use too many commands today, but it is very important that you know these commands really well for getting around directories. Commands we'll use pwd, present working directory, or print the current working directory, cd, change directory, mkdir, make a directory, touch, create a file, mv, move, tree, just for visuals, so you can see a visual representation of your directory, and we should put ls slash ll in there, which ll for us is going to equal ls dash lh. First thing we're going to do, let's type cd in our directory to make sure that we're in the proper directory. There we go. Next, we'll type pwd to confirm that we're in the right directory. And now we're going to create a directory using our student ID inside of the home student directory with a videos and documents subdirectory, or with videos and documents subdirectories. I should delete that. That's the command right there. This right here will create the H00123456 directory and the videos directory at the same time. It'll also create the H00123456 slash documents directory. The dash P there means create the directories and the parent directory if the parent directory does not exist. I'll go back over, I'll type that. Now I have those directories. If I LL H00123456, we can see I have a documents and videos directory now inside that directory. The next step is we're going to make a bunch of video and document files in here. So we're going to touch H00123456, video 1 through 20, and document 1 through 20. We could put that in one line, but yeah, why, not? why bother? I'll copy and paste. There we go. So now I created, remember once again, I'm in the student directory right now. So if I PWD, I'm still in home student. So I specified that I wanted to create those files inside of the H00123456 directory. So now I've created video 1 through 20.mp4 and document 1 through 20.docx. Now I'm going to CD into my directory. So over here. And we're going to put all the videos in the right directory and put all the documents in the correct directory. So cd to h00123456. Now that I'm here, I'll type ll. We'll look at all the stuff. It's a big mess. We need to move that around. So I will find something that's the same in everything. Well, mp4. All my videos end with .mp4 and all my documents end with docx. They also have the first, you know, the first documents part and the first video part is the same. But I do have a document directory, which is documents, and that's the same. So I notice that docx and mp4 are the same, so I'll move star, that's the wildcard meaning anything, dot mp4 to the videos directory. Now I'll ll, I'll look at that. I've now moved all of my videos into the videos directory. If I LL videos, you'll see that they're all in there now. Now I'll move all the documents, so MV star DOCX to documents, LL. I now have a documents and videos directory. And if I type tree, I'll see that my documents and my videos are in the proper folders. They're in the right directories. That's it. So we've moved some files, we created files, we created directories, and we moved some files, depending on their name, into the proper directory. So that's, uh, that's all there is for today. I hope this video helps, and I hope that you have a great day.